Hello and welcome to the video. I have got a live wire component setup. If we check the code, we have an input button and we have a submit button. When we click on it, the save method is called. And within the save, we are not doing anything. We're just resetting the post title. In actual case, you might be saving to the database. However, to keep the thing simple, I'm just resetting it. So let us uh, let's first of all remove this parentheses. Uh, they are no longer required and uh, okay and what I want to do is when we click on this save I want to show some kind of a loading indicator that the Ajax request has been fired and is currently under progress so let us say I want to display this saving when the Ajax request is under progress in live wire it is very easy you can use wire loading and the saving would only display when that request is being fired upon. So I'm just going to increase, include the sleep to two so that we can properly check the things. So now when I type something and click on save, we see that saving is being displayed as long as the Ajax call is under progress. So we can use it as a loading indicator. However, what we want is we also want to, it is also displaying save and we do not want to display save during that time so what we can do is we can use wire loading dot remove and this way save would be removed when the ajax call is fired we will only see saving there we go so that is a very nice trick and when we click on it we see that uh, there is some sort of flickering well we can avoid this flickering uh, if we change this wire model to defer so that way live i won't try to sync it when we type so now when we type that flickering is gone and when we click on save it changes to saving and then when uh, this method is completed it changes back to save so this is how i want to display all my buttons and another thing that we need to be careful it is a good practice to include wire target equal to the name of the method that is called so which is in this case is save so we are going to include it in both the buttons this way if there are multiple ajax call or multiple components on one page this wire loading would be would check whether to remove this button or not so this save should match the wire target all right now it is still working fine as you can see However, if I check my code, uh, there's a lot of code just to include the loading indicator and I want to make it simpler. So what we are going to do is we are going to open this button uh, component. If you are not aware, this button component is already, I'm using the same one that uh, comes with breeze. So that is a component. I want to make some changes to this component so that uh, we can simplify the things and what i am going to do is i would uh, pass a parameter over here let's call it uh, loading and i'm going to pass this uh, text so loading and i'm going to pass the text as saving all right and within this component i'm going to include the props as loading so by default i am going to give it a value of false so if there is no loading uh, being passed our com button component would work as it is now when this loading component is passed and we have uh, the wire target like this i want to display this loading indicator so first thing we need to do is we need to read the value of this wire click so in L, in laravel we can do so using attributes wire click and then the value so if we check this over here we get this save this save is same as the name of the method that we are calling over here so now we, that we can read that method what we want to do is we're going to check We are going to check over here if 
the loading indicator is present uh, that we can do using dollar loading and uh, we have this wire target which i'm going to save into a target variable if both of these are present then we want to display the loading indicator else we just want to display what has been passed in the slot so within this if we would have what we have written over here i'm just going to copy it and paste over here we want to make it dynamic so this save uh, would be the slot and this saving would be the loading indicator and the save method that is being called this would be the dollar target variable that we have defined all right now that is uh, dynamic let's uh, test this one out uh, we can just remove everything from here and just pass the slot which was save let's uh, test this out uh, we can remove this save because it is no longer required and there we go now if i type something and click on save we get the saving and as soon as the ajax call is finished that saving is gone so this way we can easily use our loading indicator if we remove this loading it loading indicator it would behave the same way as it was working before so our button component is able to accept this uh, loading indicator as a optional parameter so this way you can use this loading indicator wherever you want within your application and give a nice ui effect to your users hope you have enjoyed thanks for watching